Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Radio My Childhood TV Shows video. Um, and if you guys are not new, hi, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Um, please subscribe. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of thought this would be fun. So on my um, computer right here, I actually have a list of a lot of TV shows that I watched when I was like 7, 8 and stuff like that. And I'm just going to be rating those on a scale of 1 to 10. I don't know why. I just thought this would be a fun little video. And so... Yeah, without any further ado, if you guys do enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button so you, you know, can just be subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Um, I'm going to try to upload at least once or twice a week. I don't know what days. Um, they kind of differ depending on how busy I am with golf and stuff. And now, soon to be basketball. So, yeah. Um, without any further ado, let's just get on with the video. Alright, so the first show is probably everyone's favorite, Caillou. I'm not gonna lie, I would probably like watch Caillou about almost every time it was on. I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Um, if you don't know what Caillou is, uh, I'm so sorry your childhood was robbed. So sorry. But um, I would probably give it like a good 8 out of 10. Here's why I said 8 is because it was good, but I wouldn't say like I would always enjoy it. Like there were some times I would go on to like a different show if I could or something like that so it wasn't like an everyday thing considering I was like seven or eight and Caillou was four so like what the heck was I supposed to learn from Caillou I knew I knew more you know but yeah <laughs> anyways that's an eight out of ten um my next one is Barney let me tell y'all Barney was a big part of my childhood when I was younger like even younger than seven or eight like when I was younger um I loved Barney I wasn't like a Barney fanatic though like I didn't have any Barney that Barney stuffed animals or anything like that but I did like Barney um I'd probably give it a cool 9 out of 10 just because like I would know most of the songs like I knew that I love you you love me like I knew that I knew some of the theme song lyrics um I know some of like the Mr. Golden Sun like I know like some of the songs I did in the show but overall though I would I just give it a 9 out of 10 because I just really enjoyed it and I like I didn't think it was actually that bad so yeah um 9 out of 10 all right the third one is Sid the science kid I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 here's why Sid the science kid is where I learned all my science tips about like um decay like when food goes bad like how it molded etc <clears throat> excuse me um I learned like about weather climate changes like like how the different seasons are you know summer winter fall spring etc um and also I just loved it like I literally know the whole freaking theme song like I I could do it right now but yeah um I know some of the songs I did in the show as well I, I, I <sighs> sorry but yeah um I just really like that show and I feel like I learned a lot so I felt like it was very interacting and a great show for me and other kids <clears throat> excuse me my voice is gonna go out all right next show is the wiggles I'm gonna give this like a seven or eight out of ten here's why I did not watch the wiggles a lot I mean it was a good show but like I wouldn't always watch it oh my gosh so sorry I just keep getting texts um but otherwise though like I did not watch the wiggles enough to like be a whole like fan about it <clears throat> my brother actually liked the wiggles a lot when he was younger like he had one of the wiggles dolls I was never into that I just didn't care for it a lot so yeah uh not a lot not a lot of people know this next show but it's called Sabumafu it is basically I'm gonna give you a short summary it's about this lemur whatever he talks he's not animated um it's a real lemur they just of course have the fake talking but yeah it's about this lemur with two friends like the crap bros or like the crap brothers um <clears throat> which they have their own show now too and so yeah basically they like go on these adventures learn stuff about nature so it's like you do learn stuff about animals like different kind of animals in the wild and stuff like that I, if i was a little kid and it was little Laisha like giving a rate i would probably give a cool six or seven and the reason is, is because I used to be really scared of the lemur. Like, I don't know why, but I wouldn't mind watching, but, but it would scare me, you know. Now I can watch it and like, I'm, I don't know why. Like, I'm literally about to be 16 in a whole month and I'm still like, mm, kind of on the, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it now, but it still kind of seems weird to me, you know. Um, but rip, uh, rest in peace to the lemur because the lemur who was actually the, uh, 
you know actor in the movie or the show actually passed away i think he passed away from something i can't remember what but it was a guy lemur and so rest in peace next one has always been my favorite and i can still watch it to this day sesame street 10 out of 10 like i know all the songs like i i just love it honestly sometimes i'm not gonna lie i use it to go to sleep because sometimes i don't know what to use and so i just see it's like childhood tv shows and i honestly liked it a lot so i mean i can't really complain um i always enjoyed it like especially if they were an hour like that's when i loved it the most now they've like did it to like 30 minutes so it kind of sucks but um I, I 10 out of 10 though like I, I just love it and um i wish i had kids right now like if i was older i wish i had kids because you know i just feel like they would learn a lot from it i don't know all right next one is uh lazy town this is like 1000 out of 10 lazy town was honestly my favorite show on the sprout channel one i had a crush on sportacus um i still do i mean it's fine but also though i just loved it like i said i know you're gonna hear it a lot but i knew the songs in that thing like it was crazy how many songs i knew like i knew the big bang or bing bang digga rigga dong like the ending song i knew that i know the theme song like i know so many songs to this day and it was just a really good show like it teaches you about healthy lifestyles and stuff that i don't have and yeah uh i kind of wish i had kids also for that because you know kind of teaches them like to be healthy in their lifestyle choices and stuff considering i'm not so yeah all right next one is naughty in toyland not a lot of people know this one naughty in toyland is i don't even know how to describe it it's this girl named naughty before <laughs> she's in toyland but she would like go through these problems i think i can't remember but she would go through these problems and you know her friends would help her and etc i probably give it like seven out of ten it was a good show i just didn't watch it a lot so yeah i, I feel so bad because you know i never watched it so it's like how can i get a good rating you know so yeah, uh, the next one is the goodnight show. This is like what I used to go to sleep to. Like I used to put this on and then my mom would be like, okay, time to go to bed. And then I would go to sleep just fine. I, I give the goodnight show literally a thousand out of 10. Like I put it up there with Lazy Town because the goodnight show was so much fun. Like I just, it was so interacting for me, even though like they weren't physically there. Like it was literally just on screen and I loved it. So yeah, I just, I just always thought it was a good show. So yeah. Next one is gonna be the pajanimals. Um, it's called Jim Henson pajanimals, but like, yeah, the, it's like they try to go to sleep, and they end up having like these dreams or whatever, or like adventures at the night, and then you know, like might be a problem they're trying to solve or something, or it's just something they go through, and um, after that, then they like wake up and stuff like that. Um, but I know the lullaby song, the la la lullaby. Like I know that. I just. It was a great show, so I'm going to give it a 9 out of a 10. I just really liked it a lot. So, yeah. Um, word World. Let me tell y'all, I give that a 10 out of a 10. That's where I learned most of my words. But also, I just love how interactive it was. Like, I used to always be like, B, A, R. Like, like how it spells barn. I would be like, B, A, R, N, barn. Like, literally, <laughs> I don't know. But it was a great show. I just like interactive shows. Like, not just for, like, other kids, but mainly for me because that's how I learn. So, yeah. I just liked it a lot. This was a part of my childhood, Dragon Tales. Y'all, let me tell you, I know the Dragon Tales. Oh, wow. I know the Dragon Tales theme song. Like, Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales. Like, oh, my gosh. I, a thousand out of ten. Like, that was another one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Like, that show... I just always loved it. Like, it felt like a Christian show, but it wasn't a Christian show, but it literally felt like it. Speaking of Christian shows, VeggieTales. Let me tell y'all, 1,000 out of 10 for VeggieTales. VeggieTales is basically uh, Larry the Cucumber and Bob the Tomato. They talk about, like, what God does, like, what Jesus does, stuff like that. Um, talk about things in the Bible. And they kind of put it with all the characters in the show. They kind of try to, like, signal that Bible verse into like a little scene with those animated characters but i really liked it when i was a kid like i used to go to a private school until first grade so um i literally like learned all my god stuff from that the church and then also from veggie tales and i i could still watch veggie tales to this day i know the theme song and i still love it um uh, next one is a bear in the big blue house i give this one like a 10 out of 10 bear in the big blue house like i love it it was honestly really fun for me to watch. It was one of those shows, like, I can still watch to this day. There are not very many shows. Like, 
my I asked my mom the other day, like, hey, what kind of t uh, TV shows did I watch as like a kid or a toddler or a baby? One of them was Dora. I don't, I can't watch Dora now. Like, oh, last starry day. Did you know the way to like the the island? Yes, girl, it is right there. Boy, yeah, I'm like, no. I, her voice just irritates me, and I feel like her and Boots are dating. So <laughs> that's totally off topic. All right, the last show is Max and Ruby. 1000 out of 10 i know the theme song stuff like that max and ruby i just always like because it kind of reminded me of my brother because i have a 20 year old brother and like it's different in the show though she's older than the brother but i don't know i just like max and ruby a lot like it was really fun for me to watch and like now i've watched this so much in so many episodes like so many times i literally know what's gonna happen so yeah anyways hope that is my rating my childhood tv shows video i hope you guys enjoyed um i know this was a lot of talking but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video love you bye i want to end